جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلق الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل الصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراج منيرة أما بعد أحب في الله الحمد لله today Allah has blessed me with a man here his name is Fiston 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 is not a Muslim but inshallah we'll discuss a lot today and ask whoever's viewing there to make prayers for him so he goes through these trials he's going through Fiston is 28 years old I spoke to him briefly on the phone he told me he's a believer but that subject will come to it in the end Fiston tell me your ordeal when did it started uh, well first of all let me introduce myself uh, to everyone uh, my name is Mr Fiston Kashindi um, I'm from Dresden uh, and I live with my family okay uh, in my family we are almost eight people mm -hmm. eight uh, siblings, siblings or siblings yes and including parents isn't it so yes. eight all of you together mm -hmm. And I'm originally from DRC Congo, South okay. Africa. Okay. Right, okay. Yes, and I've moved to United Kingdom in 2009. 12 years ago. 12 years, okay. Yeah. And ever since I've moved to United Kingdom, my life has been full of pain, sorrow, suffering. Mm -hmm. And back then, uh, I was not aware of what was going on uh, with me. I thought that it was uh, mental health. Um, but soon I, c I come to realize tell me why do you thought is mental health what was the reason behind it for you to think in his mental health were you, get, you were getting thoughts uh, yes. someone was telling you some things or uh, it was kind of uh, heaviness okay you only feel heaviness you can't be able to do anything when you are in in, in school struggling to concentrate this uh, has started when I was in school mm -hmm. and I couldn't obtain a uh, good grade because mm -hmm. of this black magic that mm -hmm. how did you know it was black magic uh, fiston you know the symptoms things walking around on the body in, in okay so body. at the age of 14 you start thinking you got mental issue a mental issue yeah. and how how did you diagnose yourself that because I, I've, I've struggled quite a lot in school. Mm -hmm. I couldn't obtain the grades because of lack of concentration, attention, and uh, uh, focus. So these spiritual things uh, have affected me mentally, physically, mm -hmm. psychologically, spiritually. But uh, again, I go back. At the age of 14, how do you, do you know this is spiritual issues? Uh, no, during that period of time, I didn't it, know it was spiritual. Okay, you didn't know. Mental problem. Yeah, you thought in mental problems, so you went to hospital, oh. get checked up, everything. Yes, but the medication couldn't work. Work, yes. Yeah. That's, that's when my mom told me that uh, when I was born, yes, uh, a lot of, uh, I mean, the neighborhoods where I was born was full of Black witches, okay. sorcerers, okay. and the, most of them were practicing black magic. In the village? Yeah, in the village. So there's a high probability that they've done uh, something some black magic you on you or yeah. okay and my mom told me that this problem cannot be resolved medically it can only be resolved spiritually that's absolutely this problem true this is spiritual mm -hmm. so she she tried to arrange at, at how age was that your mom explaining to you when i was uh, 25 25 25 yeah that's that is about that yeah, that's that's about spiritual. 11 years Yes. 14 to 25, 11 years. Yes. Yeah. And all my friends, uh, my siblings, mm. have, they've all been successful. Only me mm. was been going down and down, down the hill. Mm. Yeah. So your mom says it's spiritual yeah. at 25. Yes. Can you tell me in details what were you feeling? Basically, I was not aware what was going on. Right. In me or at, with me. Okay, at the age of 14. Yeah, I had no clue. Mm -hmm. I could feel the symptoms all over my body, like little mouses out crawling, crawling all over my body, and I've started asking myself, "What oh, this could be? This is quite unusual." Yeah, my body is itching every single day. My mm -hmm. hair mm -hmm. is itching mm -hmm. every single day, and I've started asking myself a lot of questions. What oh, this could be? Crying. Yeah, pain all all over my body. I can see you crying at the moment as well. Of course. Yeah, yeah. 
So it was one of those strange situations. And what happened? What, what, what conclusion did you come from to, to? And what did you think it is? To be honest with you, mm-hmm. I had little knowledge. Mm-hmm. About what about the parents? What about the teachers? You're going to school, isn't it? At the age of fourteen, they has no idea. They haven't. They haven't got a clue. Are beyond our understanding. Mm. Yeah. But what? What do they say? Do they say is this? This? They, they, they start getting suspicious because the way I was behaving, the way I was carrying myself, it was different to other students. Mm. Yeah, and I was a bit different to other students when I was in school. Mm. Yeah, so because of these spiritual things and they have affected me mentally, physically, psychologically. Mentally. Spiritual. Tell me about mentally. How did it affect you? Lack of concentration, lack of attention. Mm. Did you get thoughts? Uh, not really. Heaviness in my my brain, in okay. my okay. head. Okay, that you don't have to study or yes. what sort of heaviness? It affects my studies. Mm. So that heaviness, what was it affecting? My my brain, my, my my thoughts, my understanding. All right. Yeah, everything in general. Okay, was yeah. affecting you. Yes, mm. uh, this is and uh, this is why I couldn't obtain good grades in my school. Mm. That is at the age of fourteen. Fourteen, yeah. And then the situation keeps on. Yeah. Slowly. After leaving uh, high school, things haven't gone the way I'd planned. Really. How old were you then? I was 15 jo- mm. jo- at the time, mm-hmm. and things kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. So when uh, I left school for college, oh, it was disaster. Keeping uh, um, lectures every week, mm. I couldn't even finish the whole week. Mm. I mean, because we were studying uh, four days a week in college, mm. well, I couldn't finish because I was struggling mentally and physically. Mm. Yes, so it was terrible. Ter- yeah. Did you used to get thoughts or do you used to get idea, go and sleep somewhere, go and do something, go and do this, go and do that? Mm, no, really, no. Or just stay in the bed or just stay in your own room, don't talk yes, to nobody? most of the time, yeah. Spent what? most of the time in my bed because I was physically weak, mm. weak physically, absolutely shattered. Mm. No energy, no motivation, uh, no drive, no edge, something mm. to learn something. So it was a terrible experience. Yeah, I was struggling quite a lot in that period of time. At the age of four, 14 to 25. Yeah. And then what happened? What, how did you discover? We've st- the person that has discovered this is my mother. Yeah, she, she, she went back. Memories. Memories and oh, we grew up in a in a neighborhood where small village, small village, which was surrounded by a lot of black magic pra- practices. Mm. Was it a village? Was it a big town? It was a big. It was town. It was a big town. Town. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Full of it was not a village. Full of uh, witchcraft, mm. demons. Witches, yeah. And my mom starts uh, getting suspicious. This could be the beginning of this problem. Mm. Yes. What would she say that? What would she come with that such conclusion? After the me- me- medication failed, failed, so and she 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 come to conclusion that this is spiritual and it cannot be solved medically, only spiritually. Yes. Right. So she says, your mom says that this could be spirit problem. It medics is. medics have failed. She was convinced this is spiritual problem, and she start arranging. Uh, my journey to go to Africa so that they, they can uh, sort, sort you out, sort you out there. Yeah, yes. have you been there? I haven't been able to go to Africa. To my travel document has expired. Or oh, okay, and we're still waiting for it to come. So it has taken ages now. That's why I've decided to find another way. Another alternative. Yeah, another alternative. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So the doctors. You, they've give you different source of medication. Some different type of uh, test. Test MRI scan, CT scan. They haven't found anything. Mm. That's when my mom starts uh, telling me. That's when my mom starts telling me this is spiritual. This it looks like this is black magic. Mm. Don't black magic on you to affect you mentally, physically. What well, do you call it? Black magic in your lung? Say no, no. In That's an Arabic. <laughs> <laughs> That's in Arabic. I'm talking about your own language. Uh, black magic is like. Uh, what do they call it? Uchawi. Or uh, they call it Uchawi. Uchawi. Okay. Witchcraft. Okay, they call it Uchawi. 
because in English is black magic and witchcraft and sorcery. Sorcery. Arabic is just one Sorry. name, Sihr. That's it. Yes, I knew it. Yeah. My friends uh, were Muslim, so they oh, okay. taught me all types of. Okay, so he, your friend, is the one who led you to this uh, looking for uh, sp- Islamic spiritual healers. Yes, I have a lot of is, uh, is, is, um, Muslim friends. They, okay. They, um, they normally take me to, to the mosque. I always go there to visit. Okay. Yeah, and okay. tell me the, about different types of teaching of Islam. So. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, you've looked for a different alternatives in the UK. Yes. What alternative have you found? None of them have has been successful. Tell me about them. I've been to different types of uh, spiritual healers. The most of them were pretenders, mm-hmm. scam. Mm-hmm. Instead of helping people, they pocket money. Mm-hmm. Who are these? Can you describe them in detail? Most of them were Indian spiritual healers. Mm-hmm. They pretend to be spiritual healers, but mm-hmm. they they are they are doing business in order to scam people. Mm. Yeah. Uh, tell me what they are doing. Performing mm-hmm. magic instead of performing uh, healing. Okay, removing, removing the, prob- the, the, the problem. problem. Yeah. Yes, they do like uh, different type of magic, like uh, lighting something like fire, come out of uh, the big um, bottle, mm. and after that they tell you uh, your problem has already been solved. After a few days, you start feeling the same. Symptoms. But again. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's when I find out these people are. How many of them have you been to? I've been to two of them. In the Manchester or in uh, in another city? One of them in Manchester and one of them in London. Okay. And they 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 both been unsuccessful because Mm. they they were not doing. uh, How how did you know it's black magic? Because it's 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 just magic. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Can you give me your hair? Can you put your hair in that pot? All right, okay. Uh, all, all so what do they take from you uh, for these Just two? hair. And, and then, then they put different types of things in that bottle. Yeah. And they tell me that to put my hands on my chest. Right. And then they, they start doing different types of uh, chanting. Mm. And, you know, after that you see something come out of that uh, bottle, something like fire. All right, okay. And then they tell you, oh, your, your problem has already been solved. Now you can go home, sleep well, oh and right. everything will be okay. And then after a few days, you start feeling the same symptoms, symptoms again. back again. Yeah, 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 so it was like deceiving. Yeah, it's a common trend where people without no knowledge, yeah. they end up in a wrong hands. Mm-hmm. Particularly people without no belief. Yes. Okay, they end up in a wrong hand because our religion, Islam, mm-hmm. has explained vividly yeah. about this spiritual issue. It has not left any small dot. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alhamdulillah, this is why Islam has not left anything. Of course, yeah. So for us to go to those such people, mm. Muslims, that Muslim, he doesn't know. For you, because you are not a Muslim, mm-hmm. that's why you've been looking uh, anxiously mm-hmm. and desperately looking for solution. solution yes. Yeah. But in Islam, you found a solution. You will find a solution, inshallah. Yeah. Uh, I ask Allah to make it easy and guide you mm-hmm. to Islam because you came now. It's the only way is you to in, to be submissive to to your Lord. You told me you believe. Mm-hmm. What do you believe, uh, Fiston? Uh, I'm from um, Christian, Christian Christian family. Orthodox. Uh, or what do they call the other one? Mm. I would this say ca- Catholic. Okay, there's Orthodox and there's the other one, what do they call? Jehovah. Jehovah yeah. You're not Jehovah? No, no. Yeah. Me, I am a believer. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I gather different type of knowledge from different places. I, yeah. I follow the teaching of Muhammad. Okay, you follow? Th- yes. I follow the teaching of Buddha, I follow the teaching of Jesus, all the philosophers. I'm, I'm more of everyone. I mean, I'm yeah. more of everything. Yeah, but how is that, mm-hmm. Fiston? How is that? Because so, you cannot, f- for example, now, mm. okay, let's just use the most simplest lo- logic. Yes. <laughs> you have a car, mm-hmm. and the car is Toyota, yeah. okay, and you start using a manual of Ford. Yes. How is that going to work? How is that going to work? Yeah. 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 Or start using the manual of uh, uh, Vauxhall. Mm. How is that going to work? You have to have the manual of what? F- Toyota. Of for it to work, for you to fix your problem. 
Yes or no? Allah, the Lord has created us and he's got only one manual. And that manual is the Quran. Does that make sense? Not anything else. Jesus is a Muslim. You, I, I, I hate that. Yes, know. Jesus is a Muslim. <laughs> Look, not a, not, not a Muslim is a Muslim mm -hmm. until he believes in Jesus. Yeah. That's a bit of our religion. Yeah. Doesn't no a Muslim is a Muslim until he believes in mm -hmm. Jesus, yes. until he believes in Moses, until he believes in Jonas, mm -hmm. until he believes in all these prophets who are mentioned, yeah. Dawood, which you call him David, David Solomon, yeah. which we call him Suleiman. Nor a Muslim is a Muslim until he believes. Yeah. Does that make sense? It does 100%. Yeah. This is why I say there is only one manual. Mm -hmm. And that manual has been there ever since. It has not been altered. Mm -hmm. And that manual came to end with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yeah. And that is the Quran. Yes. The Lord has sent books. Tabu, uh, Injil, Torah, Zabur, all these. Mm. And we all believe in these books. We believe in these books, but we don't follow them. Whatever we hear, we accept it and we leave it the way it is, but we follow the Quran. Yes. Does that make sense? Okay. So, this is why I say it's difficult for you to say, I'm this, that, and that. You have to follow one. <laughs> yeah, you have to follow one. And that's the beauty of it, once you follow. Now me, I believe the Lord has created us, and there's so many religions, but there's only one mm. which is upon the truth. Of course, yeah. And that mil the, we ask, I ask Allah to make it easy for the viewers who are watching it. And now because you're not a Muslim, does that make sense? I'm going to perform the ruqya on you, mm -hmm. okay? And then I'm gonna give you, these herbs will help you because for you, you don't know how to read the Quran, so it's gonna be very difficult. You have to know how to read the Quran. Yes. Does that make sense? The Quran is the book of Allah. Yes. And this one is takes stages slowly, slowly for you to yeah. read, understand. But you cannot just straight away jump and start reading. You have to believe. Yeah, I will need one of the books. Yeah. You have. Yeah, I, I will give you. Yeah, it's yeah, sure, the sure. ones I have, mm -hmm. it's in Arabic. So I need to find for you the one which English. is in English and but if you have a phone it will easy we can easily find a tra into translation I will, I will, i'll get i will get there now for you to be for this problem to go away you have to believe of course they say you have to believe in islam you have to read the books of islam you have to come here i'll perform the whatever i'm going to perform this mm -hmm. exorcism islamic exorcism which is the one of the best in the world yes. compared to none we've got our own the products mm. we use where the devil doesn't like it because yes. for you you're feeling crawling in the body yeah. one of these oil if i give it to use it that crawling of the body will straight away disappear but what happens is that mm. the devil is that he will come and go come and go come and go but if you're steadfast eventually he goes away mm. does that make sense does, yeah. if you're not erratic and start oh this 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 one it doesn't work i need to find another solution because nobody sees the devil yeah. but the words of our, our lord mm -hmm. your lord and my lord mm -hmm. extinguish the problems of, of the devil of course and it's been haunting me since when i was a child yeah he even used my own brother your own brother what's what's wrong what's about him to ask me with um voodoo black magic this is the problem that's going on in my family now my mm. mom and dad and everyone all of them they're doing voodoo they, no 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 they know about the problem they've already found out that it's true and when it happened for the first time i was very shocked very shocked yeah mm -hmm. so he even used my own brother now mm. to get to me yeah Okay, what is he doing f to get to you? So my, my, my brother has been uh, associating himself with witches. Uh, with before he, it was not here like or abroad. Yeah, he he's here with okay, us. Right, okay. Before it was not like that. Before when we were young, he was a very good man, and uh, he has no problem with ev anyone. So before he was a very good man. Mm. But when we moved to uh, this country, he started changing. So now he's doing voodoo. Yeah, voodoo. 
performing? How old is he? How old is he? Uh, he's around 37. Is he performing at home? He's on friends. Okay, he's performing. It's like a group. Yeah. Okay, he's performing the voodoo's and everything. And he's done it on me. I was very shocked. Your own blood brother to do something like that. But, but that's how the devil works. Yeah. The devil has no sympathy. Of, of course. So mm. he used my brother in order to get to me. Mm. Because he's tr- he, he tried other ways to get to me perfectly but couldn't like mm. uh, so that was the only way he could mm. get to me yeah when we we did the handshake mm. I felt the pain entering in my body of all the black magic mm. and the pain lasts for almost seven days yeah this is we call it you see there's two type of black magic where people are aware is sihru nazar or sihr bil uyun is black magic of looking yes. the person looks and he does magic on you that's one and there's another one where he shakes your hand or he touches you and you had it you got a problem so if he shaked your hand and you fell that way he's already put something inside you he has already done black magic on you black magic of touch and this only affects those who are not protected Do you understand mm-hmm. as for us we've got what is called duas supplications we do that nothing can penetrate us mm-hmm. does that make sense yes. as muslims and use blood because we share the same dna so yeah. we use blood our blood to, to do that because it couldn't work no the blood the blood thing is that they use blood for specific reason for sacrifices for to give the devil to drink and things like that they do sacrifice so they use the de- the devil drinks blood does that make sense yeah so the blood is a different it is a different issue there but because he touched you and you felt something inside when inside you he has done black magic if he is engaged in doing black magic your brother yeah are you there so there is ways us as a muslim there's something called adhkar morning and evening mm-hmm. so this application we read the lord protect us mm-hmm. now these applications you have to add on top of it the prayer five times prayer we read mm-hmm. now you cannot do this until you're a muslim are you ready to become muslim <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's very simple uh, fiston oh. yeah very simple because you believe isn't it i believe in that i'm more than willing to come to mosque yeah. all the time yes but you have to you have to say uh, you testify that there's only one lord and muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger yes. once you say that finish you're a muslim yes you ready yes the prophet muhammad i believe you say this say this bismillah yeah. ashhadu ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu wa ashhadu anna anna muhammad rasulullah meaning i testify There's only one Lord you say it I testify, I testify there's only one Lord yes, there is only one Lord place. and Muhammad Muhammad is the last messenger is the last messenger Phyllis you're a muslim now yes. the only thing now you need to know is how to pray salah and if you have muslim friends that's good they will teach you or you can come here every time I, can, I will teach you how to pray and I will go with you the, the Quran and everything inshallah and I will help you inshallah f- this problem we will move in a transition together okay mm-hmm. inshallah and at this moment in time i'm going to give you i'm going to perform ruqya on you and then i'm going to give you this oil so this oil you apply in the night when you're going to sleep one one day this yeah. one day that yeah. and this is a green oil this is to do with the uh, dry skin yes. if you have a dry skin anywhere in the body because when there is a spiritual problem they bring dry skin into the body mm-hmm. And that's what happened to my skin. Yes. So dry. this one you only apply where there's dry skin. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, so that one. Yeah. Dry. Yes. So you I'll give you these three, mm. okay? This to do with the dry skin. Yeah. And this is clove oil. Yeah. So when you go, I'll read on it. When you go your home, you just sprinkle in your room. Mm-hmm. Sprinkle in your all over your room. Inshallah, you'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Alhamdulillah for Allah guiding you to become a Muslim fiston. And this is black musk which is very good mm-hmm. you apply it a little bit in the night i'll give you all the instructions now the viewers whoever needs 
this clove oil you can go and buy anywhere as for these i will leave a link behind this video yeah. you go and get it ebay link inshallah as because fiston is a new muslim and he doesn't know how to read the quran so these will help him to move in a transition yes. yeah now your brother mm-hmm. every time he comes closer to you or he wants to shake your hand does he come to your house of course now i've got gloves no 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 yeah. you don't need that gloves uh, very simple yeah. if he's coming he wants to shake hand shake his hand but say bismillah can you say bismillah bismillah shake his hand and say bismillah nothing mm. nothing i repeat mm. will go through all right yeah, yeah. Bismillah. bismillah what it means in the name of your lord mm-hmm. in the name of my lord i'm shaking you yes does that make sense yes. so if you don't remember that you can say or or you can just supplicate to the lord oh lord help me from him of course and then shake his hand bismillah shake his hand and that's it mm-hmm. and if you see him and you start having fear you don't have to know arabic mm-hmm. does that make sense you can call oh lord because you believe in the lord of course and you are a muslim now oh lord help me from him in the night if you start feeling this such a, tell me about this sensation you two, you know in the text you said there's about seven uh, seven of them uh, yeah. f- almost three of them uh, in my head uh, three of them on my back and uh, two of them in the, in the neck so you feel this sensation on and all the one on in my neck make my neck St- very strong all right like okay. tormenting me Mm. Th- these are spirits of black magic mm. so they're like tormenting me mm. my body pain all over my body the, these are symptoms of of uh, jinns you know jinns yeah. do you know jinns yeah jinns yeah yeah jinns are mentioned in the quran in islamic we call them jinns in the other terminology i don't know what they call them but you can say demons mm-hmm. or you can say ghosts yes. <laughs> you can say that does that make sense yeah. but in islam we call them jinn in arabic we call them jinn that the spirits you cannot see so these spirits you see these pandits you went to this indian pandit they use the spirit to kill you or to go to help you but in fact they are not helping you they are making your matter worse does that make sense yeah. now these whatever you're feeling two rats in the neck two rats in the head isn't it yeah. is the way you said and two rats where back back six and the seven one where did you feel it yeah uh, head head so three you feel them in the head yeah. and then two in the neck yeah. and two in the back yeah. these are movements of the jinns because what happens is when they do the magic they go and seek a pack they ask the devil to help them oh right so the devil comes and helps them so you could be seven you could be four you could be one you could be two you could be three you could be many so me whatever you're saying i believe it because i know that's how they do any muslim who is knowledgeable in this field will tell you that's correct exactly what you're saying yeah. exactly what i'm feeling mm. even now i'm mm. always that feeling down that you're feeling down inshallah you'll be okay inshallah yeah. ask allah to make it easy for fiston because fiston is a muslim all those who are going to view this make dua for fiston because fiston he started a new journey as a muslim So he's going to start learning Quran and everything. So ask Allah to make it easy for you. Fiston, you sincerely submitted to Islam because of the problem. So when the problem go, don't go back. You stay there. Okay. Now again I repeat, if you see your brother and he comes and he start to shake your hand, you can either avoid him or you can say bismillah. It's very easy, bismillah. Mm-hmm. And then hold his hand. Right. He will see changes in you. Mm-hmm. He will start fearing you. Does that make sense? Because why you are relying upon the one and the one only? Yes. No one can defeat that. The one who's up there. Of course. Does that make sense? Khair. Wa akhiru da'wana wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.